Mother Ucker. <laughs> Susan, yes. you've missed your quota two quarters in a row. You know it, I know it. Mm -hmm. We've got to turn this around. We turn this around now. I'm going to put you on probation. If this doesn't turn around, I'm going to have to fire you. Don't make me do that. Okay, Mother Ucker. Couple it with mommy, because I see you. <laughs> you know? I call it a mommy sandwich. You start with mommy, Mother Ucker comes in there, and then, because you have been our best salesperson, come back. Okay? Mother Ucker. Archaeologist. Why do you think you have a lot of people who take orders at your company? Why do you think you have order takers? Because you're an order giver. Thank you. Because you're an order giver. Yes. That's whenever CEOs say, my people are all order takers. Fix it. Fix them, Christine. I say, well, first let's look at you, honey. OK. <laughs> so yes, if we're giving orders, we're going to have order takers. So here's your homework. You are going to give five, five inquiries per one advocacy. Here's what an advocacy is. Christine, how do I do this? Here's how you do it. Okay, that was advocating, right? That was telling a person how to do it. Here's an inquiry. Christine, how do I do this? Well, gosh, you own that area. I want to hear your ideas. What would you do? Okay, cool. And then what might go right? Okay, cool. What might go wrong? Okay, what other possibilities are there here? Okay, here's my promise to you. The inquiry sessions will be excruciating, especially if you're a high advocate. <laughs> but if you just do three to five inquiry sessions, after three to five inquiry sessions with a person who comes to you looking for an order, they will then start to connect the dots. This is why they teach us in kindergarten. It's not a page of dots, it's a bunny, okay? They will start to connect the dots. They will, you know, they will pattern match back to, it's not a bunch of dots, it's a ducky, right? And they'll start to go re realize, oh my God, I own my area. So after three to five inquiry sessions with Joe Blow, the next time Joe will come to you and he'll say, hey, I'm thinking of doing blah, blah, and blah. What do you think? Okay, so three to five sessions of inquiry with Joe Blow. The next time he'll come and he'll ask for permission. Okay? Because remember, he's, now he's straddling. First he was in mammalian, in limbic, just saying, tell me what to do. <laughs> belly up. Here's my belly. Please don't kick me. You know? Don't kick me. Give me a little rub here, right? Then what you want to do is you want He has a dog. He understands. Um, then you go to, OK, so here's what I think I'm going to do. Is it right? Then after that, they, they say, hey, I'm doing this. If you have any objections, let me know, because I'm going. This is how you reduce. Our clients repeatedly get 10 to 15 hours back per week by switching to becoming inquirers. 10 to 15 hours a week, and I promise you it will take about 90 to 120 days. <coughs> so if you want to keep wasting 10 to 15 hours a week giving orders, go for it. But if you want to create more self-managed teams where people own their area and we're sticking them in their cortex all the time, and the extra benefits are more innovation, more ideas, more ownership, more, hey, I was driving home and I just thought we should try this. That's a great idea. OK, now we go into inquiry. <laughs> so what are the possibilities? OK, who can we partner with? What might it cost? You know. And they're, they're there. And then better yet, the next time they'll be like, OK, I had this great idea. Here's what it's going to cost. Here's And you're just like, you're amazing. Oh my god, let me just bow to you. you know? And it's going to be great. OK, archaeologist does lots of inquiry. Archaeologist asks lots of questions. Archaeologist is fascinated. The archaeologist does not go native. OK? Whenever you have a new employee at your company, Talk to them a lot. Ask them a lot of questions for the first 90 days because our need for safety, belonging, and mattering is so profound, they will go native. They'll go native. They'll start drinking the Kool-Aid, doing the tribal dances, and you lost them. Okay? Those first 90 days, they're really fresh. Archaeologists, you ask lots of questions. OK, good. Professor. Professor can be really good on sales calls based on what you're selling. If you're selling a complex service, you know, attorneys, accountants, really good to use professor. Professor is really about Facts, figures. Yes, you could do that, but you would get sued. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you could do that, but you would get audited. Our job is to be conservatively aggressive as your accountant and to keep you out of getting audited. So here's what we're going to do. Here's the data I need. Don't mess with it, and you'll be fine. And you'll pay low taxes, and you won't be in trouble. Okay, professor is factual. All right, good. 
Are you guys okay? Does this make sense? Yeah? I want you guys, as we're going through this, I want you to think about what do you default to? Best buddy, I see this a lot. I see, why do we do this? Why do we take our best salesperson and promote them to head up sales? <laughs> what were we thinking when we did that? Okay. <laughs> because they're going to go into best buddy. When someone says, oh, I couldn't close that sale. Oh, yes, I keep messing up my quota. They'll go, oh, yeah, I've been there. Oh, it's painful. Yeah, the economy. Oh, it's bad. Right? They go into high empathy. Best buddy is high empathy. We're in the foxhole together. The grenades are flying. I'm with you. I get it. Yeah, I'm going to totally mirror exactly what you're saying and feeling. There is no movement that's going to occur in best buddy. <laughs> Now, best buddy with Mother Ucker, okay, all right? But best buddy, watch out for this one. Everybody feels good, nothing gets accomplished, okay? You have to combine it either with archaeologist or Mother Ucker to just get something going, okay? The last one is Guru. And Guru is also really good on sales calls. Guru is um, professor but with love. You know, guru is kind of archaeologist and mommy combined. You know, love, bonding, connection, asking lots of good questions, and being the expert. And being the expert. I'm in guru a lot today with you, okay? FYI. All right. Which ones are most uncomfortable to you? Uncomfortable or foreign? Mommy? Wait, raise your hands. Mommy, uncomfortable and foreign? Okay. Mother Ucker? Mother Ucker, okay. Archaeologist? No. Professor? No. Best buddy? No. Guru. Okay, so we have some opportunity for growth in the mommy and the Mother Ucker area, okay? <laughs> All right, so a couple quick things. Remember, the person with the greatest range and flexibility in the system will influence it the most. When we coach executives, when we coach emerging leaders, we spend a lot of time on how is your behavior, how are your default stances, how predictable are you, how can you get more results by using the rapport triangle we touched on briefly, and the stances. This is how you can move through and be more of what the person needs you to be for you to influence outcomes. Does that make sense? Okay, good. All right, good. This is why executives use a coach, because they need to shift their behavior, because it has greater impact. Insurance company. This CEO had so many direct reports. He had 13 direct reports, okay? Ow. 13 direct reports, totally overworked, but they weren't really tapping their human resources. They had all sorts of cool emerging leaders, you know? I really believe in succession planning. I want to know who's going to replace the C-suite and cultivate them now. I want to know who's going to replace the executive suite, the management people, and cultivate them now. I want to know who's going to be the next kind of batch of tribal leaders. We have a lot of tribal leaders that don't have a tribal, they don't have a leadership role or title. Who are those people who are influencing our culture? Let's cultivate them and make sure that they're aligned with us. 